This morning in the Road Show Kitchen, Discover Newport has brought us our good friend. We are always thrilled when this gentleman returns to the show. It's Chef Rich Sylvia from Whitehorse Tavern. Good morning, Rich. Hey, Great How to are you? see you. Good to see you. We'd love when you're on the roster. I know we're going to have some great conversation. We're going to learn something, and most importantly, we're going to eat very, very uh -huh. well. Today we're making seared George's Bank scallops with lots of add-ons, right? Sure. What are we working I with? I got a spring pea risotto and a little carrot kefir lime broth so we have um, some U10 scallops dry so they're not so very very sticky and they sear it real nice uh, some arborio rice some fresh English peas which are in season right now um, some charred uh, leeks and um, we're gonna do a, a broth with an organic carrot juice and some kefir lime which is a um, it's a it's an Asian uh, uh, citrus fruit, and you take the leaves, right? And you can steep the leaves like tea in any kind of uh, liquid, and it, it, it permeates that that limey kind of flavor to it. See, I wasn't kidding around. I've already learned something from you. <laughs> this is why I don't pay attention to all the chefs, but you, I do. Oh, all I'm you. kidding because I love. And Whitehorse Tavern for those unfamiliar location, twenty six Marlboro Street, Newport, Rhode Island, and uh, we're uh, just set off the the downtown strip, not quite in the middle of it all, uh, but. Uh, uh, close enough or within walking distance. It is an awesome spot. It is iconic. We will learn more and more all about the restaurant as the morning rolls on. Thanks for being here, buddy. Thank this you. This is the guy, Chef Rich Sylvia. You don't want to miss the scallop preparation. It's going to be delectable. For now, back to you. So much. We are back in the Roadshow Kitchen. Chef Rich Silva's here from the White Horse Tavern, one of our favorite guys, and he is cooking up a storm. He's busy all the time creating great dishes down at the White Horse Tavern. Um, what do you got going here? Because this smells great. We're going to do uh, the spring pea risotto right mm -hmm. now, which is which is a lot simpler than most people think. Okay, what I did though, it, it does take time. So I got the onions, the garlic uh, sweated out already, and a little bit of uh, canola oil, and a touch of butter. We're going to take half that rice, pour that pour in there. This in here. And you don't need um, you don't need any like liquid in the bottom with this because nope. you're just going to kind of brown this up. You're exactly. You want to open open up that rice. You're going to coat it with some of the uh, some of the oils, and then we're going to add the peas to it. All right, so put and that in. that's going to start it cooking. And it's going to open up all those pores mm -hmm. in that rice, and it's going to release some of the starches. So we use a short grain rice whenever we do a risotto. Um, I use fresh peas. Um, which is why I'm putting them in now. These are raw. Uh, we took the shells of the peas, we made a stock out of it. The stock it isn't quite too potent, but you know, any extra flavor and utilizing the product's always good instead right. of throwing it in the trash. So um, we're gonna let this cook for a little while, and I would say we are gonna add probably, if you wanna- Just ladle that in? Ladle about three or four ladles. Right. You want uh, Risotto, you wanna do two or three ladles at a time, just enough to, to bring up to the, uh, the level of the rice, and when mm -hmm. that cooks down, then you add more, and that, that's how you get that creamy uh, risotto consistency. Okay. So keep stirring this. We'll keep stirring this and mixing this around. And mm -hmm. this is one of the things you don't want to leave. You got. You got to keep an eye on this. This stuff. is something that you want to pay attention right. to. If you want to make a good risotto, you can do it. Some people cheat. They add. They add all the liquid to it. Bring it up to a boil. Shut it off. But you're never going to get that creamy consistency that you, that you you normally do. This looks great, and we are just getting started. We'll put this together. Also, talk about the you know that classic restaurant, the White Horse Tavern down in Newport. See what this guy's been up to as well. Back to you. Here we are in the Roadshow Kitchen. Rich is already giving us he's, instructions. He's giving us orders and instructions, <laughs> and we are going to follow them to the rule. Uh, Rich Silk is here. White Horse Tavern is the place we have Sierra George's Bank scallops on the menu. You've got some risotto that Absolutely. you're cooking. Everything looks good. Okay, uh, well, what you're gonna do, uh, we because uh, like I said, the pea stock isn't that strong, I created a little puree with peas, mm -hmm. uh, onions, a little garlic, and some uh, pea stock. Right. We're gonna add that to it, that way it, tur it, it, it turns it a little bit green. So I'm gonna put the whole thing in? Uh, about half of that. About half of this? About half. Okay, sure. And we're gonna put uh, two lumps of butter and about half of that Parmesan cheese there. Meet him halfway. <laughs> While we're doing that, uh, uh, Brendan, you're gonna season these scallops. Uh, a couple the top, of pinches. A couple of pinches right over the top. Salt, and salt and, and pepper. And pepper. Salt yeah. and pepper. Peppa. Mm. Mm. Oh. Help you out here. oh wow, you were generous. And the hot, the higher you go, oh. the more the more coat you get. You nice just even. let gravity take over, That's right? That's right. So I'm sprinkling. So you're going to put half of that Parmesan in there. So then we're going to put these down. You want? It's important that you hear that that sear going on. Oh, that sound means good things are happening, that right? Means good things are happening. You get that nice browning, which is going to create the develop the sugars. Look at this. And make them nice and uh, sweeter than they actually are. Fantastic. Okay, so we're going to let these cook until we start to see a little bit of brown come up the sides. That's when you know you're going to have that nice amber color. Cool. Um, this smells 
And that that right now is it will before you put the butter in was 100% vegetarian. Mm, too late. So <laughs> we put a stop to that pretty quick. <laughs> so now we have the butter and the Parmesan cheese in there. What we'll do for a little bit of acidity is we'll take a little bit of lemon juice, which mm -hmm. is going to heighten that flavor a little bit. Uh, lemon juice always it will get you a little bit extra flavor than mm, uh, zest. And, uh, oh, these already smell great right too. Aren't oh, they great, man? And yeah. we, we use a very very. I mean, we're 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 paying upwards over twenty dollars a pound for these. These are, we these really really source high for these. The best of the best. And um, so and we're all wearing protective eyewear. <laughs> right. How is that? <laughs> we should have laughed today. Um, <laughs> so this is uh, this is actually going to be on our, our our spring menu that we're releasing in about a week. <laughs> I don't know why that cracked me up. <laughs> oh God! Don't encourage me, right, Jeff? Right? It's the fumes oh, from the please risotto. Please encourage you. Please encourage you. Thanks, buddy. We have fun. We are starting to yeah. see a little bit of that brown mm -hmm. creep up the sides, but we want it to go a little further. We'll go a little bit further once it creeps up the sides, and we'll flip it over. We'll cook these 100% in the pan. They'll be medium rare to medium, and okay. and, and you're going to get a nice sweet flavor, delicate. They're not going to be chewy. Um, and what we'll do, what we'll end up doing is is plating the um, the risotto. I'll actually turn that off now in the center of the bowl that we have over there. All right. All right. Some of these scallops when they're done cooking. And as you continue here to work so effortlessly, tell us a little bit about White Horse Tavern, all the great things you have there. I mean, it's just a, a, a tremendous location. We're, um, you know, we just issued a new cocktail menu. Our general manager. Um, Put a lot of effort into it. I could say we're probably one of the first in the state to do a curry style, a, a cocktail with curry in it. Okay. Um, a, that's not an Indian restaurant. Um, we have a um, uh, eight course pork dinner coming up May eighth uh, with a uh, a, a nice nat all natural antibiotic free raised hogs. Um, a family called Dealer uh, Farm. Uh, that's uh, seventy five dollars, and and then thirty dollars with uh, with uh, wine pairings and beer pairings. Um, that's coming up May ninth. Well, so we're, we're planning a lot of these dinners and. And the, uh, the curry cocktail has my attention, <laughs> so does. save me a seat at the bar. It's and incredibly you are, interesting. You guys are busy all the time, but summer's on the way, so it, summer's it's, on the way. It's, uh, it's a oh. rocking place. Dude, you grab well, we are rapidly there. running out of time oh, here, this one right here, uh, in the Roadshow Kitchen. So if you want to get this recipe to learn more all about the great things happening at the fantastic White Horse Tavern, hopefully we get to sample and see a nice shot of it before chef, the show ends. Yes, yeah. you know what to do, Rich Sylvia. Wonderful. Here, courtesy of Discover Newport.